Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Slightly different video today. Today we are going to be talking all about the NX01, tackling these new aquatic hostiles and we have some fantastic crew combinations to help you punch up. Are you sat there slugging away, uh, trying to hit the 40s and then dying to a battleship and not having enough for your daily refines? We think we can sort this. Now, massive shout out on this goes out to Jules Verne. Jules Verne is going to be very prominent uh, in this video. Uh, this is an excerpt from our Twitch stream. So we have tried to pick out all the best bits, showing the crews, explaining how they work briefly for this YouTube video. However, should you wish to go and watch the entire stream, I would strongly suggest that you go back and watch the VOD on our Twitch. Link to our Twitch is down below in the description. But we are going to dive over to uh, the Twitch. A uh, couple of little things to preface. Obviously, you will hear the odd sound alert because we were on Twitch. I am very sorry for that. And obviously the chat and the overlay and things like that, they are showing on uh, parts of the video, obviously unusual for YouTube, but there was so much good testing and I wanted to make sure that we got Jules perspective and Jules explanations uh, within that. Now, other thing to point of note is that um, I did get given um, a raft of cells from Scopely to do this testing. Uh, obviously I, pre I preface that, I'm always honest with you guys about that sort of thing. Um, so obviously don't expect you to be able to go out there and do all this testing yourself in one run like we did. Um, but this is something that you maybe need to test over the next few days to find your sweet spot and use the charts and things that are available uh, within our Discord in the chat section updated by um, Blue Mandalorian and Jules Verne for you to find your sweet spot. That's how we did it. There is mathematics to this and one of the key components to it, you'll hear Jules reference, is the hull of your NX-01. So if you go into your um, detail screen for your um, NX-01 and you go down to the health section, you can see what your health is. So mine's 34.01 million and using that figure in order to be able to ascertain which levels you can hit using the charts, etc., will be very, very valuable. But we are going to dive into it. Like I said, this is an excerpt from our Twitch stream. Please watch it all the way through. And if you, so you can pick up the crews, there's some fantastic crews towards the end as well. Uh, starting off with some more generic crews for average players. Obviously, moving into some more advanced things. Now, one thing to note, uh, I do mention it, that when we're talking about these, a lot of this is aimed at the battleships. Uh, obviously, so the battleships do have a 30% chance of just sending you home. That does happen at some point during the video, uh, so watch out for that. But obviously, what you're trying to do here is you are trying to roll the odds and keep this as a five-minute loop for you on a daily basis. So, we're going to dive straight into that Twitch excerpt. Please enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channel if you want more in-depth videos like this. Let me know what you think of the format about ripping things from twitch obviously in posting them up on youtube see if you think that's a good thing for us to do and if so we can do more and more of that and i will say a massive shout out to mini uh, mini obviously part of uh, my stream team thank you so much for obviously sorting this and cutting this and getting the best bits out of this and turning it into the fantastic video that i'm sure it is but share it out with your teams and remember if you are just picking up the nx01 and this is two three months down the line this i would expect to still be relevant but by all means pop in on the twitch streams and ask if there's anything that has changed following this video Video. But let's dive into it and let's see where we go from here. Mm. She is beautiful. Oh, read an interesting fact, Mini. That was on you today. It's only Soap. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in as we launch our brand new NX01. Into the nut house. There she is. What a beauty. Fantastic artwork. I must admit, they have nailed the modeling on this. Absolutely nailed it. It does look great. Absolutely look great. superb. <laughs> you have acquired the Enterprise NX01. <clears throat> Use its passive ability to defeat Zindi aquatic hostiles in the Delphic Expanse and gain Zindi tech modules. Use its active ability. Long road ahead to reveal the depths of deep space. Visit the Xborg Faction store and exchange Zindi tech modules for Xborg Faction credits in common, uncommon, rare, and epic rarities. Exactly perfectly timed, VA. These credits are used to purchase valuable Xborg bundles or to unlock and upgrade Xborg favors. <whistles> right, where's this new boat? So my new boat comes out the dock at 33 and a half million. Have I hit stats on it? Wow. Nearly. But I haven't got any officer slots. So let's level the little beauty. What does leveling the ship actually do? If anybody might ask. 
ability with the bite. Oh, that's a bit harsh. So the ability is going to increase our damage against the aquatic hostile. So you can see we start off at a measly 16 million percent increased damage. Uh, is it going up every level? Yes, yeah, so it's going up every single level. So we've gone from 16 million at level one up to 40 million at level five tier one. So anybody that does decide to build a ship, make sure that you level it up first. That extra 24 million power um, damage will make some sort of a difference. Can we do anything? So I need these stupid ceramic composite Love, parts. It? it does feel true. It's see if we not get wise parts. to have a look at that. What parts? So we get 160. Oh, and I get a ninth token. That's nice. We'll take that. So what do we get in the next level? But yes. but you're right. I don't have the ship myself, so I'm, I'm not super useful other than just repeating what I've seen on various discords. Okay, we've got some choice opportunity chip, which is nice. Hundred warp range per tier of the favor. So we need to have a look at the favor then, don't we? What's my next mission on here? It does sound pretty good. So let's take a quick look at that favor. The specific NX01 warp level, so it's 320 rares. Let's see what the NX01 warp does. Let's see if we've been lied to. So it's only 50 at level 1, so who said that? Ban them. Quickly. Joking. So, we get 50 for level 1, so let's throw that on there and see what level 2 is going to cost us to get a little bit further. Another 340, so that is exactly Benny Hill. So we're going to throw another bit of warp on there. So that takes us to, what is that, 192. Oh, warp 200. <laughs> right. So we're going to run Archer, we're going to run Trip, and we can either, and I think we can either run something like this. This is what I like to run now on my normal dudes. And then, because I've got no mitigation anywhere. I've been throwing Paris below deck. Even though you're not going to have much defense? Well, it's just a case of what else. Obviously, my crit floor is crap. My crit floor is still at zero. I've not even started working on that yet. I'm Obviously, the ship's going to help me with that. So we could always throw the Doctor and stuff the mitigation. Okay. And we've got 10 cells. So I'm running Archer, I'm running Trip, and I'm running Enterprise E Data. And I'm running um, the Doctor Below deck. Because this is all about loot. All about loot for me at the moment. This is what I would have done if I was on my own. To be honest, the best gauge here is all about whole health. Because almost everybody who's at the same level NX01 will have about the same damage. The ship ability far outweighs any sort of other damage buffs or researches or anything else. So it's almost all compared comparing the actual whole health. And how much loot did we end up with? We ended up with, oh god, 56k. That sounds like a lot. Good old fashioned PMC. And the doctor. We'll keep the doctor below deck just for shits and giggles. Yeah. And the other thing from a time perspective, and obviously time's really important to me, that first run took me. One, two, three, four, five hostels. This one took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then I died. Do you know what I mean? For more loot. Plus, to be fair, even on on that first run, it's not really a fair test because I actually could have probably got one more interceptor out of the hull that I had left. So I would have probably got over sixty thousand, well over sixty thousand on that first crew. And if you exclude the damage solo leaderboard, then yeah, you should definitely not be going for PMC because you want to maximize your loot. But if yeah. you're going for the damage solo leaderboard, well, then you want to maximize the number of kills so that way you can maximize the damage you've dealt. Indeed. Indeed. So, but obviously, damage SLB is going to run a few times every now, every now and again. They might bring it, bring it back up again in the future. But loot is going to be your everyday goal. Okay, so uh, I think you should do it in this order. 
you're going to start with Archer GG Tau. And just for everyone's sake, what is your, are your tiers of GG and what is your tier of Tau? So my GG is maxed and my Tau is tier 2. Okay. Uh, no, no. So that means got, that got you're going to target... Okay. Uh, and I would put mitigation below deck. So Paris. Okay. Okay. And uh, with this current setup, based on your whole health, you can, can hit 50s. So let's go over to the 50s. I need to spend some more rare credits. Do it, do it, do no. it. That would be better on a tier four. I'm telling. I think Jules is giving me this from a mathematical standpoint. <laughs> so, congratulations, you killed something. So. <laughs> Let's look at my spreadsheet. So we did a run with a loot crew and e data for damage. We got 56k. Uh, and obviously that's combined between scraps and um, the new aquatic loot. We did PMC on the 40s. We got 51,000 in 10 hostiles. One hostile in here. We've just got 476,000 tech modules. 476,000 tech modules. And two thousand Zindi scraps. Now the Zindi scrap. What was your hole again? Thirty-three, right? Yeah, you're good. Okay, Leslie, Moreau, Gigi, and I don't think you need mitigation below deck. But for your first run, we may want to just hedge our bets here. Leslie Moreau so, and Gigi. Magoo, I think I'm going to send him against the 53s. I'm I'm thinking that he'll probably have enough mitigation as a, you know, ops, high ops player. But I think that for the first round, we'll go with Paris and we'll just see how it goes. Leslie Moreau, Gigi. Yep. And you're going to hit the 53s. So if you've got Neelix under deck, Zek, then you would run Leslie with Moreau and five if you've got a max neelix right here we go peeps oh hell what do we think what do we think what do we think check the battleships for loot that's a good idea 430, 427, 427. Ooh, 446. Good shout. Who said that? Well done, Mago. Great shout. Oh, Carl, what's up? That was serious, I hope. Sheep screams are a no no. <laughs> you must have headphones in. I'll play this one for you. There you go. Right, we got we got we we got done by the thirty percent. Let me. Um... Let's go back. <laughs> and this is this is like the risky play with this, is that it doesn't feel great to like risk everything and the loot that you need on these crazy big loot gaps. But I think that the, the main output of this is you're going to get so much more loot than you need on a daily basis that you can take that risk. So the Leslie crew killer is uh, there is one dependent. There's one dependent is how much is, sorry, what tier is your Neelix? If your Neelix is tier five, then you run Neelix below deck with Leslie as captain, Moreau one side, and five on the other side. 
If you do not have Neelix maxed, then swap him below deck for potentially Paris or even the Doctor is maybe a second test to do if you're at max mitigation. And then you put GG on the bridge instead of five. So Max Neelix is a key component to that crew. Wait for that reply. Um, one of the things that we noticed is that the 53 plus hostiles actually do have quite a bit of piercing. And there's only so much mitigation that a non-boosted Moreau can, can do. And uh, even with Paris, we actually started to see a loss of mitigation uh, too. So it, especially if you're going to be hitting, you know, so for Killer Angel, your Ops 58, you'll be probably wanting to hit 57s, maybe 59s, maybe even higher than that. Um, you'll definitely not just need Moreau, you'll need Paris, you'll need Exos to boost that defense, and you may even need like a Cerritos boost in there to help get more mitigation. That's been the problem that we've been seeing just based on calculations um, and anecdotally too, what we've been seeing. Evening, Nick. So yeah, and again, it comes back down to, it comes back down to these crews that we're showing you will work, but you're going to potentially have to make tweaks yourself based on your ops level. If you are a uh, upper 50, 60 player, something like that, it's big. Do you know what I mean? So you may need to change it. Now, even though we died, that is the effect of Leslie. We did kill the ship. We did kill the ship, which means we still got all the rewards. We managed to get a grand total of 1.33 million. 1.33 million of the tech modules with this crew. We got 8,000 Zindi scraps. So I got one last crew, but you shouldn't try it today. Okay. This crew is for when you are probably tier five or above. And this crew is killing the battleship in the first round before weapon five has even a chance to fire off. Uh, now we've seen this successfully done by people who have already upgraded their ship to above tier five has been the lowest I've seen. Tier eight, tier 10 is what I've seen effectively working. But what they do is they go back down to the forties, kill the battleships in the first round with their first few shots and that allows them to grind those battleships pretty heavily. What is the loot that drops out of this chest that's highly valuable in these battleships? These. The those. opportunity chips. The rare opportunity chips specifically. The com the uncommon common whatever you want to call it they're the same emblem i don't know why they use the same emblem those ones come from the refinery drip you only get a certain amount per refinery drip which you can increase by the favor but the rare chips only come from drops in the battleships so if you can get those relatively easily relatively endlessly you can be max pulling both the safe and the risky rare chests double chess every single time and take a look at the credits the specifically the epic credits in those 950 just take i mean even if you take the middle one 350 and you double it or 250 and you double it yeah right that's 500 maybe a thousand epic credits every single day i'm telling you once you kind of get to the point where you're going to be able to engage in that part of this loop you'll never have a problem with epic credits Denver says these have a three-day cooldown. So a thousand every three days. I mean, th this is just tier one. They do get better as you uh, tier up. Yeah, cost. Dude. But if yeah. you don't, if you're gonna have like a almost endless supply out of a one day, you know, go kill a hundred of these, grind. This is like still a very low grind, and a very high output of export credits um, strategy. So go on then, what's this crew? So the crew that we've been seeing has been Pike, Harrison, E Data. And this is specifically to try to kill it quickly and kill it fast.
Oh, uh, could we try this at the 40, level 40s? Now, Lube can't try this yet because he doesn't have a high enough ship. And the reason I say tier 5 is because of the ship ability bonus that gives, right. you know, 100 million percent more. And that's really what you're going to need in order to kind of take on this type of strategy. You're going to need a massive amount more damage so that you can kill these ships in one round. Because even with your Archer, Trip, and E-Data, like, you were still going, what, 10, 12 rounds? I don't know if you can mm -hmm. see that in your battle log. Fourteen. Fourteen rounds. You need to kill it in one. <laughs> that also means that you need to have your crit floor at 100%, so that if you do get a critical, it's not going to hurt you. So these are some of the things, sort of like end game, you know, once you get to like, I, I would say minimum tier five, depending on your other favors and your ops levels and stuff like that. Probably for most players, it's going to be more like tier seven, tier six, tier seven, that this is actually going to be a viable strategy. But once you can get there, like, I think that you're just going to be rarely engage in this loop and still get the maximum oh, benefit. You. Right, slightly shorter stream than usual, people. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys found it informative. We were, we need to say a massive, massive thank you to um, Jules Verne for all the analytics and all the work he does in the background. I don't think it would have quite been the stream that it was without him. Um, obviously, Silver's popped in earlier. Mini, my right-hand gal, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. If you've got any questions on the NX01 crewing, feel free uh, to obviously come and see me. But if you need anything, you know where we are. And remember, guys, that everything is better with Lou. Take care and have an absolutely marvellous day. Goodbye.